Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. I am Chandra Lynn and this is going to be a general energy reading for you for the, for the week to come. It is general so please take it how it resonates with you in your life, your situations, and your experiences and disregard the rest and we will go ahead and get started for Cancer messages for Cancer please. Might be in a more of a playful energy because I'm watching like um, daredevil squirrels right now. Well, that doesn't look playful. One more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is fog with veiled. Mm. Okay, so I am, I am picking up on a playful energy, but the energy that I feel is coming up is there is an emergence. Like this isn't even your energy. Um. I really in no way feel like this is, I feel like this is to confirm to you something that you have been wondering about. It's something in your reality and it's um, like in your life and you have intuitively picked up on something changing, but you're not sure if what you're picking up is accurate or if you're just a little crazy. Um, yeah, this is in no way. So this is basically saying like, yes, your higher self saying like, yeah, it's been foggy. We wanted you to get in this playful energy and just kind of trust and have fun. So there's been more playfulness inside you, whether it's, you know, just in inside you or you've actually been just kind of allowing it to come out a little bit more in yourself. But there's been more playful something and like i said this has been fogged to you it's been veiled right like it it's you were in no way able to see it so that way it in no way has your um focus or your attention which is then where this card the dragonfly emergence is coming from um, so something has emerged is what I'm being told. Something has emerged and yeah, it is, um, like I feel, like I feel like whatever this is, if you could think like a huge freaking like boulder dropping into the water, right? And you watch the boulder drop into the water. And then it was like waiting, waiting, waiting for the splash, waiting for the ripples, waiting for the reaction to the action. Um, take this how it resonates with you in your life, right? And it was like spirit was like, stop holding up your life, waiting for the splash. Stop holding back your life, waiting for the reaction to that action. Um, because I feel like the boulder in the water was necessarily, it was like a more malicious action um, towards you in your life somehow. So, like, all of a sudden this fog comes in, and it's been a while, like a while, while is what I'm picking up on. And the fog rolled in, and you couldn't see. And so, it's like actually just kind of distracting yourself, focusing on other things. So that reaction, now that you are not paying any attention and have moved away from the area of where you're expecting, where you had been expecting the splash back, right? The, yeah. So, um, yeah, it has emerged and it is creating some big reactions right? I think, and I also feel like this is why you were 
moved like guided away from the energy so you didn't get smacked by this wave um with the milky way with the perspective um I feel like this is not you shifting your perspective, although it will have you altering your perspective, but it's not in a state that you haven't gone through. It's not, um, yeah, I'm seeing the squirrels run, like chasing each other around the tree. So it's like you have been going all over this. It is just the way the perspective is changing to the energies that are around this. Because it's not, um, it's affecting, it is, it's like it's, it's affecting a lot more. Um, man, what I'm picking up is like, somebody did something to you, right? And it was supposed to like cripple you and it was supposed to be sneaky and deceptive and everything. And you were kind of like, there is no fucking way that this is going to be all sneaky and deceptive and like shit like that. But it really kind of was, right? But so it was almost like having to go through this thing of like realizing you're going to have to walk away without ever getting like that sense of justice or peace or whatever. Um, but now that you have moved away and you're kind of off playing and doing your own thing and pretty much have cho like chosen to like, okay, whatever, I'm going to go do me regardless of this. I'm tired of allowing this taking up like so much and then you like you're gone right but there's still others and I mean other others I mean this is where it was meant to like be harmful towards you it's going it's harmful to a larger group and I mean not like, oh, a set group of people. I mean like this is going to affect different aspects of different people. Um, that's so trippy. What are you supposed to like? Yeah, DNA karma. Gaia nurturing. Yeah, just keep playing and having fun. This will, it, you in no way need to go back or go anywhere or look for it. It's really going to, um, it's really going to come to you. Okay. It's going to, it's going to come to you, but not in the, the you're experiencing it kind of way. I mean, others who are being affected by the reaction of that action from a while back are going to be coming to you. All right. It's, it's the, yeah, that there's more, I guess well, I'm going to save that if it comes up again, but yeah, it's coming to you. And that which you had to leave behind is um, going to be back to you as well. It, my tongue's getting all tongue-tied. I hope that brings you clarity and understanding, and I hope you have a great week ahead.